to Singham Tutorials, SP to be online classes for NCRT and 10th standard. Uh, mathematics and science classes. So today we are going with the very important uh, part of mathematics that is polynomials. In that we are entering into a small bookwork and then we will be going with some problems. So in the previous session we have discussed, we had discussed regarding the sum of the zeros and the product of the zeros. That is, without finding the zeros of the polynomials, directly we can find out the sum of the zeros of that polynomial and product of the zeros of that polynomial by using the relationship between the zeros and the coefficients of the polynomials. So that was the thing. So we did the same thing for cubic polynomials also. We took a cubic polynomial. If uh, we know that in a cubic polynomial we have three zeros, so uh, let us, if we take it as alpha, beta, and uh, gamma, so that becomes the sum of the zeros. That is alpha, beta plus gamma. That is sum of the zeros of the polynomial. Alpha into beta into gamma. That is product of the zeros of the polynomial and uh, the the sum of the product of the zeros taken two at a time. That is alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha. So how these uh, relationships comes between the zeros and polynomial we have seen that. So in this session we will be going with a very simple another theoretical part of polynomials that is we will be not knowing which is the polynomial. We do not know the polynomial but we know the two zeros of that polynomial. So when two zeros of of some polynomial is given to you and if you are asked to find out the polynomial itself what, to be, what is to be done that I am going to show you now. So by using the zeros of the polynomial we are going to derive the we are going to get the polynomial itself. So in the generalized form we will be doing it and in the exercise we will be going with some more problems. Okay. Now Alpha plus beta plus alpha beta is the required polynomial. 
So if you have, for example, if, if you have a, a coefficient of x square here, if you have a coefficient of x square, so you can uh, also write this as p of x is equal to k, k is some constant here, so x square minus alpha plus beta plus alpha beta, right? So this is also the required uh, polynomial. If you have the that is k as the coefficient of x square, so k is a constant here. Okay. So this is you have to remember. This you have to remember. This is enough. So this is okay. If you remember, if you use this also okay. This is better because it's easy to remember and recall. So when solving problems on this category, we will be using this only. So when you get something in the denominator, I will tell you how to rectify that. Okay. So now we have problems on this category. We will be solving some problems on this. So now find the zeros. Find the zeros of the polynomial. Find the zeros of the polynomial and verify the relation. And verify the relation between relation between zeros and coefficients. Verify the relation between the zeros and coefficients. So we'll go with the first problem here. So first problem is x square minus 2x minus 8. So this is the given problem for you, right? So here what you have to do is find the zeros of the polynomial. The given polynomial is here. You have to first find the zeros of this. So usually as it is a given uh, polynomial is a quadratic polynomial, we are going to get uh, at most two zeros. May those two zeros may be equal, may not be equal, they may be totally distinct. Whatever it is, we have to find the two zeros. If, it, if the particular quadratic uh, polynomial has uh, one zero and the other one is real, let's see if those problems are also in the exercise. Find the zeros of the polynomial, we find out and verify the relation between zeros and the coefficient. So, relation between the zeros and the coefficients is nothing but the sum of the zeros that is nothing but minus b by a and product of the zeros that is c by a in the sense according to your textbook it is alpha plus beta is equal to the minus the coefficient of uh, x by the coefficient of x square that is sum of the zeros and product of the zeros is constant divided by the coefficient of uh, x square that is minus b by a and c by a. So we will find the we will verify the relation between them. Okay. So this polynomial is not given any name. So let us name it. Let p of x is equal to x square minus 2x minus 8. So this is the uh, given polynomial. So as we have to find the zeros of this polynomial, zero of zero of p of x. Uh, 0 of p of x, 0 of p of x is 0, which is equal to 0. So therefore, we have to take this p of x equal to 0. So x square minus 2x minus 8 will be equal to 0. It should be equal to 0 in order to find out the zeros of the polynomial. So as this is already in the standard form, we can compare, we will multiply these two. x square into minus 8 is minus 8 x square, we will split this. So minus 2x should be the sum. When you add these two add, add these two numbers, what you are going to get, you should get minus 2x, and when you multiply these two, you should get minus 8x square. So it can be uh, 4x and uh, 2x. I can we can take minus 4x and uh, plus 2x. Minus 4x plus 2x is minus 2x. Minus into plus minus 4 to are 8. x into x x square. So x square minus 4x plus 2x minus 8 is equal to 0. So this and this will take common. x into x minus 4 plus we can take 2 common here. Into x minus 4 is equal to 0. So here there are 2 terms. From these 2 terms we can take x minus 4 as common. And we are left x plus 2 is equal to 0. So x minus 4 is equal to 0. And x plus 2 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 4 and uh, x is equal to minus 2. So these are the two zeros. So for p 
of x is equal to x square minus 2x minus 8. So there are there are two zeros. There are two zeros. So that is alpha is equal to one of the zero is uh, four and uh, beta is equal to that is minus two. So these are the two zeros. So we have answered the first question successfully. Find the zeros of the polynomial we have found out. So now we have to verify the relation between the zeros and their coefficients. So therefore, sum of zeros, sum of zeros is equal to alpha plus beta, that is 4 plus of plus of minus 2. So that comes 4 minus 2, which is equal to 2. So we have got the sum of zeros as 2. Now let us check the coefficients. So therefore, uh, alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a. You know the short form of that. So minus b by a is uh, b is we have to compare here, compare this with the standard form that is ax square plus bx plus c. So b is minus 2, that is minus of minus 2 by a. a is 1, the coefficient of x square is 1. So minus into minus is plus, plus 2 by 1, which is equal to 2. So we have, we have verified the relation between the zeros and the coefficients. So let us go with the product of zeros. So product of uh, zeros is equal to alpha into beta. Alpha into beta is alpha is uh, 4 into beta is minus 2 which is equal to minus 8 here part. So let us go with the coefficients. So alpha into beta is equal to c by a. You know the shortcut of that. So c is, you have to compare here, c is minus 8. So minus 8 by a. A is the coefficient of x square that is 1. So that is equal to minus 8. So we have verified. So we have verified the sum of the uh, zeros with the coefficients and also product of the zeros with the coefficients. So this is all we have to present. Okay, we we'll go with the next problem. So I hope this uh, 
the graph for this quadratic polynomial is touching the x-axis at one and only one point. Maybe uh, something like this. That is uh, one by two. That is zero point five. This is one and this is zero point five. The quadratic polynomial is touching the point zero point five like this. So at uh, the point zero point five. So this is how we have imagined the geometrical meaning of polynomials. So p is one by two and p is one by two. So therefore, for p of x is equal to four p square minus four p plus one, is a perfect square. As the given polynomial is already a perfect square, therefore we get uh, equal zeros. And, and equal zeros when they are represented geometrically, they touch the x-axis at only one and only one point. So zeros are zeros are x is equal to one by two, x is equal to one by two. Sorry. Okay. So let alpha is equal to one by two, beta is equal to one by two. We will guess it as per your textbook. Okay. There are, there are two zeros, but they are same. Not different zeros. Both the both are same zero. It's one by two, one by two. So let us go with the sum of zeros. Sum of zeros is equal to alpha plus beta. That is one by two plus one by two. That is equal to one. So alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a. Is the relation between the zeros and the coefficients. So that is minus b by a. So here we should compare. And write it as a standard form. That is a x bar plus b x plus c. So minus b by a is uh, b b is four. That is b is minus four. In formula also we have minus. So minus of minus four by a is four again. Four minus into minus is plus. That is four by four. It cancels and one. So it matches. Okay. Let us take a product of zeros. Product of uh, zeros is equal to alpha into beta. That is one by two into one by two. That is one by four. This is the product of zeros. Let us verify the relation. So alpha into beta is equal to c by a. So that's the relation between the zeros and the coefficients. C by a. C is uh, we we'll compare here. C is one and a is four. So it is one by four. We can verify this. This is how we have to verify the relation between the zeros and the coefficients. It's important. So let's go with the third problem. So according to the NCERT textbook, third problem is 6x square minus 3 minus 7x. So let us go with the solution here. The given problem is not in the standard form. We have to convert this into the standard form here. So 6x square minus 7x minus 3. By rearrangement, you can just go with that. So let p of x is equal to 6x square minus 7x minus 3. So zero of zero of p of x is zero. Zero of the polynomial p of x is zero. Its p of x will be zero. So this entire p of x will become zero. So therefore, six x square minus seven x minus three will be equal to zero. So six x square into minus three is minus eighteen x square. We have to split this into two numbers such that. The sum of these two numbers you should get minus seven x, and the product of these two numbers should get minus eighteen x square. So we can go with the uh, nine x and the uh, two x. So we have minus seven x as the sum. Therefore, put minus here and plus here. So minus nine x plus two x is minus seven x. Minus into plus minus nine twos are eighteen x into x is x square. So instead of minus seven x, we have to substitute these two numbers. 6x square minus 9x plus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. Take a combination of uh, 2 and 2. Here we can take uh, 3x as common. 3x into uh, 2x minus uh, 3. So 
3x into 2x is uh, 6x square, 3x into minus 3 is minus 9x. Uh, plus, we don't have any common, uh, to take uh, common factor here, so you can take 1, that is 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. So, if you take 2x minus 3 as common from these two terms, you are left with 3x and plus 1. 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. So, this into this is equal to 0, therefore 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 and uh, 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. So, therefore x is equal to 3 goes to RHS that is minus plus 3, 2 comes to the denominator that is x is equal to 3 by 2 and another 0 is uh, x is equal to plus 1 goes to the RHS it becomes minus 1, 3 comes to the denominator that is x is equal to minus 1 by 3. So, these are the two zeros we have got. So, let us go with the next step. For p of x, for p of x is equal to 6x square minus uh, 3 minus 7x, the two zeros, the two zeros are, one is uh, 3 by 2 and minus 1 by 3 or 3 by 2 and minus 1 by 3. So, let alpha is equal to 3 by 2 and beta is equal to minus 1 by 3. So, let, let the two zeros be alpha and beta. So, let us take the sum of the zeros. So, sum of zeros is equal to alpha plus beta is equal to alpha is 3 by 2 plus minus 1 by 3. So, let us take the sum here. So, 3 by 2 minus plus into minus 1 by 3. For 2 and 3 we have 6 as uh, LCM. 3 by 2 into 6 is 9 minus 1 by 3 into 6 is uh, 2. So, 9 minus 2 is 7. 7 by 6. This is the sum of the zeros. Now, let us put the uh, relation between the zeros and coefficients. So therefore, alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a. So this is the formula. So take this as the standard form, not this. Don't get confused. So it is in the form of uh, uh, a x square plus b x plus c. So minus, put the minus here. Now put the b value. So b value is minus 7. So minus 7 by a value. a value is 6. That is 6 minus into minus is uh, plus that is 7 by 6. So we can compare both the values. We have verified that. So let us now go with product of uh, zeros. Product of uh, zeros is equal to alpha into beta. That is uh, alpha is uh, 3 by 2 into beta is minus 1 by 3. Right. So 3 into minus 1 is uh, minus 3. 2 3 is uh, 6. Uh, 3 minus 1 is 3. 2 is uh, 6. So that becomes minus 1 by 2. So that is the product of zeros. Now we will apply the relationship. Alpha into beta is equal to C by A. We know that C value. Let us take it from here. C value is minus 3. Minus 3 by uh, A value is 6. That is 6. So minus 3 minus 1 is 2 is So it is minus 1 by 2. So this is how we have verified the relation between the zeros and the coefficients. This is a very important problem. You have to practice this. Okay, we will go with the next one. Consider that as 
zero. That's very important. So let p of x is equal to 4x square plus 8x. So p of x is equal to we can take uh, okay. Let us take zero of polynomial. Zero of p of x is uh, zero. So therefore, 4x square plus 8x is zero. Take out the uh, 4x as common. So if you take 4x as common, we are left with the x plus uh, 2 is equal to zero. 4x into x is 4x square. 4x into 2 is 8x. So in a given quadratic polynomial, if the constant term do not exist, then with these two terms we have to find the factors, that is the zeros. The zeros can be found by taking common method and that cannot be done by uh, the summon product method. Okay, so this into this is equal to zero. So therefore 4x is equal to zero and x plus 2 is equal to zero. So x is equal to zero by four. So therefore x is equal to 0 is one of the 0 and x is equal to minus 2 is another 0. So we have two zeros here of the given quadratic polynomial. One is 0, another is minus 2. So for p of x is equal to 4x square plus 8x, right? There are, there are two zeros. There are two zeros. So one is uh, x is equal to zero and uh, x is equal to or you can write or two zeros zero and minus two. Okay, so let alpha is equal to zero, beta is equal to minus two. So let us go with the problems. So let us find out the uh, sum of zeros. Sum of zeros is equal to alpha plus beta that is 0 plus of minus 2 uh, is equal to minus 2 itself. So let us take a relation now. So sum of zeros that is alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a. So minus b, b is 8. So that becomes minus or uh, 8 by a. a is 4 by 4 that is minus 8 by 4, for 1s are 4, minus 2s are, so it is minus 2, so therefore they are verified. Let us take the product of zeros, product of zeros is equal to alpha into beta, that is alpha is 0 into beta is minus 2, so 0 into minus 2 is 0, so therefore we will find the relation now. Alpha into beta is uh, C by A, C by A is C, C value doesn't exist in the given uh, quadratic polynomial, therefore that should be considered as 0 by A, A is, here it is 4, so 0 by 4 is, is 0, so and here we have successfully verified that. So this is a, a bit different problem, so a little bit different problems may be usually are as in your examinations. Okay, let's go with the next problem. Okay, now fifth problem now, that is uh, x square minus t. In your textbook, the variable used is uh, t square have taken x instead of t. So let, let's go to the solution. Let p of x is equal to x square minus t. So 0 of p of x is 0. So therefore x square minus t is equal to 0. x square is equal to minus 15 goes to the RHS that is it becomes plus 15. So we, we can take square root on both sides here to obtain x. Therefore square root of x square is equal to plus or minus square root of 15. So don't uh, forget to take plus or minus because plus 15 plus uh, uh, plus or minus why we have to take it because root 15 has two values here plus 15 and plus root 15 as well as minus root 15. That is x value as this gets, gets cancelled. So x is equal to that becomes plus or minus root 15. So 
therefore x is equal to plus 215 and x is equal to minus root 15 so minus should be written outside not inside minus should be written outside so x is equal to root 15 and x is equal to minus root 15 these are the two zeros so now for uh, p of x is equal to x square minus 15 there are there are two zeros there are two zeros uh, x is equal to two zeros that is uh, root plus root 15 and minus root 15 so now let alpha is equal to plus root 15 and beta is equal to minus root 15 so let the let this be two zeros let us take the sum of the zeros <coughs> sum of zeros sum of zeros is equal to alpha plus beta that is plus root 15 plus of minus root 15 that becomes root 15 minus root 15 so both cancels and it is 0 so let us take the uh, relation between the zeros and the coefficients so alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a so here as you have compared this with the 0, you have to go with this here, uh, comparing this, this is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So here, b is minus 15 and also here we have uh, minus add in the formula, that is minus of minus root 15 by a is, uh, that is ax square. So here, ax square that is x square and c is minus 15. So here bx term does not exist. If at the particular term in the polynomial does not exist, then it should be taken as 0 by a. a is that is 1. That is uh, x square comes here, a coefficient of x square is 1 here. So 0 by 1 is, we get 0. This is how we have verified. So we go with the product of zeros product of zeros is equal to alpha into beta that is uh, root 15 into minus root 15 so this becomes uh, plus into minus is minus root 15 whole square so square root cancels it is minus 15 is the answer for that so uh, let us verify this so alpha into beta is equal to uh, c by a is the formula for that so c value is minus 15 you write this by a value is 1 so minus 15 by 1 is minus 15 so this is how we have verified this right so all the five problems in the textbook i have shown you i have presented you so i will give you a homework here so one is uh, 3x square minus x minus 4 second one is uh, 9x square minus 3x plus Eight and third one is x square minus nine. So these are the three problems. Uh, you have to do it as a homework in your class workbook. So I hope this is the correct procedure for solving these type of problems. And these problems are going to come in your exams for exactly two marks. And also a part of the problem maybe uh, find the zeros of the polynomial. That is the sum of the zeros of the polynomial or find the product of the zeros of the polynomial the individual cutout problem from these two marks problems can be given also for one mark so these problems are important so practice these problems pause the video while uh, seeing it write down the notes be updated so maybe the worksheets i'm going to on this particular chapter i'm going to send you uh, through whatsapp today uh, so please practice the problems understand the theory behind it uh, stay home, stay safe and keep learning. Thank you.